so where do we go exactly? Weren't you listening, clocked the ears? To where Calphelia is. In it? The palace? The palace. It's beyond the main square, Oliver. I'll show you the way. Huh? Hmm? Yikes. What's wrong, Esther? Nothing. I just had a funny feeling we've been followed for a minute. I'm sure it's nothing. Sorry. Let's get going, shall we? Sure. By the beers of the mighty, the regal lines, and the majestic curve of the nostrils, her nose. It's every aspect of the same as hers. I'm sorry? Please, you must, must let me study it. What? Who are you? Ah, forgive me. I am but a humble artist. I am currently painting a portrait of one to whom you bear the most striking resemblance. I look like somebody in your portrait? Ah, indeed. Alas, I am unable to meet her in the flesh. Will you allow me to study it a little bit more? Well, if you must, go ahead. The line of the jaw is key. Yes, of course. Thank you. I'm in your deck. I know just what I must do to finish my masterpiece. You have my eternal gratitude. And that's all. You're very welcome. I must return to my studio now. Farewell. Uh, no, I don't have anything planned for this week in Austin. Do you have anything planned? Any, Anything fun that you're going to be doing? Wow, I wonder who this person looks like me. Whoever it is, the artist certainly seems to think she's rather beautiful. Crikey, the arty types are a bit intense in it. Not to mention, a bit weird. Hmm. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Just that, you know, he was a bit f of a funny one. Do you not think so? Just me? Was it? Righto. I'll shut my big mouth, should I? So it's time to get moving, isn't it? Sure, let's go. Tidy. This here is the palace. Let's get ourselves inside, shall we? Halt, you may not pass. You think you can just walk into the palace of our most revered Calphia unannounced? What seems to be the problem here? Master of Bull. These miscreants were attempting to enter the palace without permission. Is that so? Wait. You're the Babana merchant's daughter, are you not? I'm a bull. Advisor to the most esteemed Calphelia. Your father's efforts to supply her magnificence with Babanas are, as ever, most highly appreciated. I had heard that you were unwell. It seems that you are recovered. Yes, I am much better now, thank you. That is excellent news. Tell me, child, what business have you at the palace? Well, sir, you see, we need a ship and we can't get one without a letter of passage from Calphelia. You and your friends wish to travel or journey to lands across the sea? I sympathize, and I would dearly love to arrange an audience. However, is something wrong? I'm afraid Calphelia is in despondence, is indisposed. As much as I would please her, she currently is unable to hear the requests of any of her subjects. Well, that's too bad. Apologies, but she's requested to not be disturbed under any circumstances during her afternoon snack. Then I guess we'll have to wait until after that. Would that you could, but her afternoon snack is immediately followed by her second lunch. And after that, then comes after her late afternoon snack. Uh, is there any time where she's not eating? Alas, her Mujasi's miraculous hunger dictates that she dine even during her sleeping hours. 
This is why I'm forced to spend my every waking hour procuring the most beloved food. Ah, but it must be going. Our most beloved food? I wonder what that could be. Freak me, I must make the necessary arrangements before the merchant supplies are exhausted. I'm most terribly sorry, I'm not able to grant you an audience. Curse. I must hurry, if I cannot prepare her majesty's next meal in good time, she will be displeased. Master Bull has spoken, leave this place. It looks like we have... We don't have much choice, Oliver. Come on, we'll come back later. Is that a nose ring or a lantern? It is a lantern nose ring. He makes references to it quite often. So, Cafelia is a very special favorite food, is it? Uh, I bet if we found out what it was, we could take her... Take her some of it as present. We'd be allowed to see her. It's a neat idea, Esther. But we don't know what her favorite food is. Oi, oi, Ollie boy. You know how we can find out, don't you? Come on, slow coach. We go to your world and find her soulmate, in it? Of course. Find her soulmate, we can find out what her favorite food is and give some to Cafelia. But how do we find out who Cafelia's soulmate is? Never seen her before. So we need to find out what Cophelia looks like, but we can't go and meet her. If we can't meet her, how are we supposed to find out what she looks like? I saw her once in a parade when I was little, but it was so long ago I can't remember anything about her. So what do we do? Jeepers. We don't know what Cophelia's favorite food is, and we don't know what she looks like. I have to confess, I'm completely out of ideas too. Uh, it's thinking, making my head hurt. Tell you what. Let's go down to the cat's cradle and sleep on it, shall we? Well, I guess I am kind of tired. The cat's cradle is near the entrance to the town. Okay, let's go rest for a while. Okay. Welcome to the palace of Pampering, the cream of cat's cradle establishment. Oh my! I I must apologize. Please, you must excuse me. Is it finished? Is it, it is really the paint finished? Is scarcely dry, but it is completed at last. Oh, how I have longed to see it! Now, please oh. hang it over here. Isn't that the artist who? Yes, it is. I wonder how his picture turned out. At last, the grand unveiling! Oh, my beloved Kaulifa! So the person he thought I looked like was the Kaulifa? That's fancy. It's not every day you get compared to royalty. Now feast your eyes upon the divine <gasps> beauty of oh her most my. admired oh, majesty. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? Oh, we but that's... Oh, it's divine. Truly divine. Her matchless beauty takes one breath away. Are you pleased with it? Pleased? Why, it's worth thrice what I promised to pay you for. By the beards of the majesty, truly? But we shook upon it, did we not? Perhaps next time. I see, I see. Excuse me. Yes? I don't look anything like her. Hmm? You said I looked like her. You misunderstood, young lady. It is not a picture of you, merely, Mr. Drippy. What is it, man? This is just getting interesting. We need to go to Motorville right now. I, re I realize who we need to see. You did? I sure did. Miss Lelia. She's the Calphelia's soulmate. It's just... I just know she is. Of course she is. The... You're just clever of you, boy. Thanks, Mr. Trippy. When we saw that picture, I knew right away. Righto. Let's get moving then, shall we? I don't feel tired all of a sudden. Me neither. Hey, Esther. Come on, we have to go. Huh. I look absolutely absurd. Absolutely nothing like her. Do I look fat to you? I'm not fat. Hmm. You're still kind of angry, huh? What do you mean? I'm not angry in the slightest. 
Yeah. I'm six foot flipping six. Looks like we best leave it to her. I guess we should. Alright, let's uh let's gateway to the other world. Hi Tiff, how are you? The Rizzler herself. How are you, Tiff? It's good to see you. Everybody's stopping in. I don't think I've had this many people stop in in a while. Hope I, I'm entertaining enough. Okay. Here it is. The door is closed. Looks like the shop ain't open yet. I'm sure if we were right here, she'll be along soon. It's time to open up already. Someone's coming. Uh, hello, Oliver. Myrtle, hi. How are you? Are you feeling better now? I am, and it's all thanks to you, Oliver. What are you doing here? Do you need something from our store? Wait a minute. I'll just open it up for you. Who's this girl? I feel like I feel like I should know her somehow. Yes, she looks just like me. It's like she's lo my long lost twin or something. She looks much more like me than the stupid old Calphelia. Hmm. Can she not see me or something? Your perception of you. She can't see you, nor me either. Really? So I'm invisible? What a strange feeling. Of course you're invisible. You're from the other world. Did you say something, Oliver? No, no I didn't. Anyway, how come you're here at Miss Leah's store, Myrtle? I work here now. Miss Leah and my mom were friends, and when she heard that I was better, she said she I could come work for her. Gee, that's real nice of her. Hey, Myrtle. Is Miss Leah around? Sure, she's busy training right now. I'm sure she'll be back soon. Miss Leah, training? That's right. She started running. She's on a diet? No, silly. She's exercising so she can eat even more. How do you mean? Myrtle, I'm back. In no way this big woman was moving that fast. Why, if it isn't young Oliver. Hello, dearie. Good morning, Miss Leah. Myrtle. I can't wait any longer. Would you? Yes, Miss Leah. I'll go get it for you right now. Oh, it's no good. I just can't wait that long. I have some in, some in store, dear. You stay out here and clean up or something. I never saw anyone so crazy about their favorite food. What was that? Did you say favorite food? Holly boy. If it's the same as Cophelia's, you're right. Let's go find out what it is. See you soon, Myrtle. Yeah, I was happy to see you. I'll be back later if you're still on. I appreciate Priscilla? it. Thank you. What is she eating? It's cheese. A whole lot of cheese. That's right, dearie, and it's not for sale. None of it. It's all for little old me. Quick, Ollie boy! She'll scoff the whole lot if you're not careful. Hurry up and grab some! Sharpish! Okay. Please, Miss Layla. Could you give me a piece of your cheese? Uh, 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 you know I'd do anything for you, Please, dearie, but not just that. Just one piece. Oh, no, no, no. Just one no. tiny I said little piece. I'm hungry. I need a lot of cheese. Well, I'll, it. I'll never oh, let Oliver. you have it. It's, it's oh, mine. Mine, oh. I tell you. All mine. It's got a shock, huh? It sure is. I had no idea. I had no idea she was so obsessed. It's better not to go near her when she's eating cheese. I know that now. Myrtle. Myrtle. Sounds like she needs my help. I better go inside. Goodbye now. Yeah, I, I also love I love cheese. I love eating cheese. But cheese? I went to the store the other day and was looking at the price of cheese because I was going to make grilled cheese with 
like tomato soup just because I'm I'm basic. But just like the regular craft cheese for like what twenty pieces of like cheese that's gonna block up my stomach like a brick. It was like four or five dollars. Did that? No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not paying that. <laughs> Yeah, that was just ridiculous. I, price of cheese and like milk has gone up so much. I can't deal with it. Cheapers. What do we do now? This Leah store is the only place in town that sells cheese. Oliver, what's wrong? Oh, hi, Pete. We kind of need some cheese. Cheese? That's right. It's Calfelia's favorite food. Who is he talking to? Maybe it's his imaginary friend again. Here we flip and go. Uh, we can make it. Make our own cheese. Yes, with your magic. Lots and lots of cheese. But I can't. I don't know how. Yes, you do. Just try. Just try. You think it's really that easy? Yes. But do you even have a spell that could do that? Uh, wait. She's gone. Have fun talking to your imaginary friend. Did you, Ollie boy? Better than talking to your real friends, was it? Huh, imaginary friend. You mean P? P? Who's that? What do you mean? She was right there. Uh, I didn't see anyone. Maybe only you can see her, Oliver. Really? But how come? Maybe it's just like how Myrtle can't see me, but I can see her. You might be right, you know. i never seen this P either. Anyway, what did P say, Oliver? Oh yeah, she told me we could use my magic to make some cheese. What's that? Make it with magic, you say? Well, she may be too shy to let us see her, but she ain't afraid to stick her neck out advice-wise. You mean, it won't work? I mean, it'll work. The whole point of magic is to make the impossible possible. I guess it's difficult without... The right ingredients, huh? But we have them. We do? Of course. Back in Elma Moon, the fountain's milk. So we use milk to turn... Or magic to turn the milk from the fountains into cheese? Now that we can do. Right now, Ollie boy, let's get back to our world, shall we? Yes. Let's go straight to the fountains of milk and try it out. They're in the main square, back in Alma Moon. So there was no point in us coming here. <laughs> so these are fountains of milk? Gee. Is that real milk? For real? Uh-huh. Of course, it's the freshest and creamiest milk there is. There's so much of it. You can just keep trying it until you get it right. Keep trying? You think I can't do it? I didn't mean anything by it. Come on. You got it. You got to conjure up some cheese. Focus. Now, do you know how cheese is made? Sure. You heat up some milk, then you add lemon and salt. You skim the solid part off the top and it turns into cheese. Blind me. Really cheesemonger you are. This should be cheesy peasy there. All you need is the right spell. Sure, let me take a look. Okay. Look at that. It's flipping working. It really is. You're so good at magic, Oliver. But you could even make sweets if you put your mind to it. And cakes. Oh. I could just eat a... Hey, stop that. I'm trying to concentrate. Cheddar. You obtained a giant cheese wedge. Look at that flippin' size of that man. You went and made some sweets and all. That was Esther's fault. But you wanted to see... You wanted some too, though, didn't you? You shouldn't distract somebody when they're trying to cast a spell. Oh, don't be like that. Now we can go and see that Cophelia. 
prisms a little on the large side, but I don't suppose it'll matter. The bigger the better, I reckon. It's pleaser with cheese. Good day to you all. I may be of service. I brought some cheese to give to Miss to the Calphelia. Miss Herbal ch cheese. Praise the ancients. I thought there was none remaining in all the land. Miss Calphelia just can't get enough of it, huh? What did you hear of this? It's a secret known only to those within the palace. No matter, you are correct. Her Majesty is indeed a great admirer of cheese in its many forms. She will undoubtedly grant an audience to any who may come bearing such a gift. Please, you must follow me, quickly. Alright, got her ticket in. Jeepers, that's the Khalifa? She probably ended up this way because of- Shadar, the stinking rockbag. Oh. Ooh, what is that divine aroma? Here, your majesty. Bountiful Khalifa, his humble servants come bearing most delicious treatment. Heavens, what a dear sweet child. Bring it to us now, there's a good boy. Please. Huh? You want me to take it to her? Quickly now, young man, bring it to us. Hurry! Delicious cheesy wheeze. Do you have more for us? More? Khalifa, if you continue to eat so prodigiously, I fear you may burst. A bull! We are hungry! Your request does not go unheard, Majesty, but I fear for your bovinity's well-being. That there is one utterly broken heart. What? But... She might not look broken-hearted, but depending on which bit of heart is missing, all manner of weird things can happen. See, what her Majesty's lacking right now is a drop of restraint. Restraint? That's right. And without it, she can't control the urge to stuff her right royal face. We won't be getting any favors out of her until we've sorted this out. You mark my words. Okay. So we need to find some restraint somewhere, huh? That's quick of you, Ollie boy. You have been paying attention after all. Let's go then, shall we? Please, you must do all you can to help her majesty. Looks like this is going to be a difficult task. Restraint. Hmm. Can you think of anyone a lot of restraint, Esther? Let me see. There must be someone. We can just use the locket to try and find someone. But this big old town, man, is it the shopkeepers first, stall, shall we? It's a neat idea, Mr. Trippy. People who own the shops must show know everybody in town. And they hear all the news, too. They do. Great, let's ask her around the shops, then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that so? Well, well, well. So they got into the palace, did they? And did they talk about? Did they know? Okay, keep me posted on what's going on inside. In my payment? Don't worry, you'll get your reward. And next time we meet, I'll have scored you something decent. Do you mean that you will steal something? No, don't be stupid. It's just a figure of speech. Now concentrate on the job at hand, will you? I'm counting on you to be my eyes and ears. Don't let me down. Found some. Found about someone with a whole lot of restraint. You did? That's excellent news. You must tell me who is it. It's you, but impossible. 
Well, not in the slightest. Peter, patience. Look at Ollie Boyer's lockage. Glowing of a treat. You have the restraint, Mr. Rebel. Well, of course you may. For her majesty, anything. What must I do? There's nothing to it. Just lie back and think about the moon. Well, get on with it, Ollie Boy. Sure, here it goes. Well, we've never seen restraint before, so let's be first. Okay, a little blue thing. Truly enough to restore her majesty to her former glory? You bet it is. Cheesy wheezy. Mountains of cheesy wheeze. Now for us. No, 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 no. Just got cheese on a flipping brain here. Even dreams of about this stuff quick, Ollie boy. Magic her better, will you? Yes, sir. Humble servants made your Majesty's ailing heart whole again. I pray that our beloved Khalifa's most generous appetite has now abated. Well, now, we still... But we have come to feel that a measure of gastronomic restraint may serve to set a good example for our dearest subjects. Your words are music to the ears of your people. Al Mamun can return to its former magnificence. Indeed it can. And we are simply itching to return to our lanes. Munificent Caliph, should these humble servants not be rewarded for their services to Al Mamun? Indeed they should. Boy. Yes, Your Majesty. If it's not too much trouble. Well, what? We'd like to borrow your ship. Ooh, a little floaty wooty. Yes, of course. But of course you may borrow it. It is of little use to us. We will write a letter to the captain, ordering him to help you in any way he can. You will? Gee! Thank you, Your Majesty. Tidy! The boat is in the bag. But why in the world would a dear little thing like you have need of our floaty wooty? Yeah. Well, we asked you a question. Well... Go on, Matt. Okay. We need to find one of the great sages. The great sages? Hmm. Yes, we are aware of them. Abu, we know of them. Do we not? Indeed, most learned Khalifa. But little has been heard of such men since the magical arts fell from favor. Why do you seek the great sage? We need their help. We need their power to defeat Shadar. <gasps> what? 
is is something wrong? <laughs> we are not unamused, but we can see that you speak in earnest. Very well, we will tell you what we know. You will? I can't wait to hear it. There were once four great sages. We understand that one of them was defeated by Shaddaa. Mom. Oh. But we know of one who did not perish. You do? Well. He lives in the land of Hamlin, a detestable and warlike realm. Ah. Uh. But he is a handsome young thing. We even keep a picture of him. A bull? Crikey, sounds like she's got a bit of a crush on the poor lad. So this is one of the great sages, huh? That's a clue and a half, that is, Ollie boy. <laughs> now, before you take your leave, we shall teach you some magic to aid you on your journey. Really? You're a wizard too, Your Majesty. <laughs> well, not a fully fledged wizard, perhaps, but we royals all know a few select spells. King Tom undoubtedly has a trick or two up his own kingly sleeves. He sure does. He taught me some real neat magic. <laughs> How quaint. We hope that you will find our own still neater here. Nature's tongue. Burden. That's a cracker, that is. A real classic, like. It's your lucky day, Oliver. Yeah. May it serve you well. Do be careful, out. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> 